Good morning! Brian and I made it to Maryland and the first leg of our adventure is to go out on the Chesapeake Bay in our oldest son Eric's boat. We are so looking forward to this. Because That's called the we're excited to get on the water jig. Come on. Oh, here comes our captain! Woo! Give it up for Eric! Yay, Eric! Taking us out to the Chesapeake. Woo! Dobbins Island and apparently on the weekend this is the place to be. There's everybody. Say hi everybody. Hi everybody. <laughs> so uh, yeah really neat really neat little island. So the Chesapeake Bay is, is brackish water which means it's a, a mix of fresh and salt water and I'm sure on the way in Shauna caught some footage of all the crab pots, and of course the Chesapeake Bay is always known for its awesome crab fishing out here. It's a rough day at the office. Woo! <laughs> We're just chilling, having a Canada Dry ginger ale. And Wishing I just... Wishing it was a margarita or a pina colada, but yeah. you know, next best thing. I just finished a uh, Guinness Blonde. She did. Which was brewed by a local uh, brewing company here in Maryland. I think uh, we're going to chill out here for a little bit longer, then we're going to shoot across the bay on the other side, on the eastern shore, and go to a little dock bar out there. Really get a pina colada. Probably. I really want to get a soft shell crab sandwich and um, enjoy one of those. It's been a while. They're good. I'm not sure uh, how big the crab are this time of year. You know, the crab, they fish for crab in the burr months, so September, October, November, December are the crab fishing months primarily. Uh. All right, so there's the crab we've been looking for, Bri. Well, actually, Brian's been looking for it more than I have. I really like the claws. He likes to eat the whole thing. So we called ahead and we found out that they have soft shell crab sandwiches. Let me see that face. Let me see your happy face. Oh, that's a happy crabby face. And and, so um, fresh raw oysters and forever. Oh my gosh. One of my favorite things. Mm -hmm. They have a little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of uh, um, horseradish and cocktail sauce. That's how they're eating. And then what do you have in that sandwich right there that's sticking out with eight legs? So that is a soft shell crab sandwich. You guys, it looks like a tarantula with your batter on it. That's the whole crab. Whole crab. Do they always put the whole crab on? Uh-huh. I thought they cleaned out the gizzards and stuff. Oh, they do. They clean it and stuff it. Can you hold it up a little bit? Can you hold it up for our, our viewers? Mm. Look at that. No, for you, for those of you who love that, you're probably going, oh, yummy. All right, I got peel and eats, and they are loaded, loaded with Old Bay. They look delicious, and potatoes. Can't wait to dig into that. So, so I'm going to start with a little 
crispy crab legs. Not really. Part of the sandwich. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. Mm. Hey, how crabby are you right now? Super crabby. Ah! So crabby, he's gonna eat a crabby. Uber crabby. Wrapped up our lunch here at Ooh, delicious lunch. Dock of the Bay. We are full of crab. Shrimpies. Crab and shrimp and French fries. oysters, french Oyster. fries. So we are hopping the boat, heading back. Huh? Across the Chesapeake Bay. Yeah. Hey everybody, we're coming to you from historic downtown Annapolis. Uh, some of you might know that we lived here in Maryland uh, for about five years, from 2011 to 2015 or thereabouts. And uh, it was one of our favorite places to come and hang out uh, during the summer months. Also, the sailing capital of the U.S. Uh, it's funny because uh, when we lived in Arizona, I would order uh, things from my small sailboat from Annapolis Sailing, located here in Annapolis, Maryland. Another uh, really neat place here on Main Street is the Treaty of Paris. Some of you might know that the little restaurant here, which is called Treaty of Paris, is where John Adams and Benjamin Franklin came uh, to witness the ratification of the Treaty of Paris, which was the uh, official end of the Revolutionary War. Annapolis is also the capital of Maryland, so they have the State House located here, which has the only wooden dome top that is made out of or put together without nails. Without nails. Hopefully front of Chicken Roots Deli and apparently they start every morning with the employees seeing the Pledge of Allegiance. I think that's pretty cool, especially on uh, stand here on 9-11. Hey Eric, where's that place we went to get that ice cream? Kilwins. Kilwins. the Annapolis City Dock, affectionately called Ego Alley, and you'll see it's a nice wide open space where um, these giant boats, these yachts and others will come parading through, um, especially on a Saturday or a Sunday, um, kind of showing off their boats, and this will be filled with people standing around the sides. Um, admiring. Alright, so we're going into one of our favorite restaurants that happens to be right here on the water and what's the name of it? You decide.
a while in Annapolis. Uh, we thought we'd stop by the United States Naval Academy. Um, there's an opportunity here that you can take to tour the Naval Academy, which we won't do today, but if you're ever in this area, it's highly recommended. Yep, definitely do. There's a huge uh, visitor center just behind us. A butt kicking time in Annapolis as I knew we would it was a warm day though it was 95 96 something like that which is kind of unusual um, but we still managed to walk around check out the town the only thing we didn't do just we didn't get to check out the state house um, we'll save that for another time oh, we even got to do some rum tasting how was that Pussers. how was that for you the rum tasting what you think of that it was good which was your favorite? The, um, uh, the mixer rum. The other stuff was pretty stout. Yeah, I was like 200 proof. Not even close. Well, felt like it. 85 proof and Tastes 105 like proof. Yes. We got a really cute Pusser's Rum Pusser's. gift bag with cups and rum and um, mixed to make a painkiller, which is a great drink and it will knock you on your butt. That's why they call it the painkiller. Oh, that's an awesome shot. Look at that. So while we loved Maryland when we lived here, what we did not love was the traffic. Now think of when you come to Maryland and that is cooking wieners over a campfire in the forest. But yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. Regardless of the fact that it was 93 degrees today and it hasn't cooled down much. You guys having fun? I burned my wiener. Oh gosh, I'm sorry to hear that. Did you throw it in the fire? No. You know, as we've been doing the filming around Maryland, I realized that we hadn't done anything or any mention of the campground where we're staying. And it's a really cool campground called the Patapsco State Park. Valley State Park. Tapsco Valley State Park. We're in the Hollowfield area, um, which is centered right around the middle of town, but you would never know it because this area is so densely wooded and kind of hidden and quiet. It's dark as dark can be at night. It's really, really nice. Probably, what do you would what would you say, 10 miles from Baltimore? Uh, Maybe? 20. Miles? 20 miles from Baltimore? 20. Yeah that close um, and it's been a wonderful central location to Annapolis, Ellicott City. Um, I think you could even get to DC from here sure. um, in probably really good time. It's a really nice 45 campground. Minutes, probably. Yeah, it's a really nice campground. We'll show you around a little bit. We've uh, spent the last week here at Jane's Island State Park, which is an awesome state park. So if you get a chance to come by here, definitely do that. Uh, we had uh, pretty much waterfront uh, campsite, which was nice, right there at the marina. Beautiful campsite. Yeah, lots we of lucked out. Yeah, lots of stuff to do around here: kayaking, canoeing, uh, boating, fishing, you name it, crabbing. We are actually going from the top of the eastern shore, almost. I think the top might be from the Maryland or the uh, Delaware border. Yeah. And we started just a little bit more um, down from that, but just, we're going- Just south of Baltimore. South of Baltimore, and we're going to the tip into Virginia. Um, with planning to cross the Chesapeake, Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel, yes. which is about 20 something miles 23 long. miles. Really excited to do that because- uh, so. so we are in the- the town of Crisfield right now just enjoying one of their piers. It's midweek, no one around. It's dead. it's dead. In fact, the bars and the the grills on the waterfront are not even open until about four o'clock. So. And as always, if you like what we're doing, give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe yeah. if you haven't already. Uh -huh. To join in on our fun. That's right. And comment if you. Till then. See ya. We'll see ya.